Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Path Christian Church, B.C., Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. So this morning in Proverbs chapter 10, I was reading through and I was noticing a theme. And one verse really is what made it stand out to me. So I thought I'd talk about that verse this morning. It's Proverbs chapter 10, verse 15. It says, A rich man's wealth is his fortified city. The poverty of the poor is their destruction. Now, what it brought to me was the fact that what you focus on is what you find true. Um, probably more than that, what you focus on, you make true. This verse says something quite simple. The rich man's wealth is his fortified city. And the poor, poverty of the poor is their destruction. Every time I've read this for years, it's been a disappointing verse to me. I'm, I'm not a rich man. And so I kept reading it as I don't have a fortified city. Um, I got to be rich to have a fortified city. That's what I was reading it as. Um, and I was getting what I was focusing on. I couldn't have a fortified city. And what I realized is a rich man focuses on his wealth. And he's convinced that's what's going to save him. And a poor man focuses on his poverty. And knows there is no help in it. So my question to you today is, are you focused on what you got in front of you? Or are you focused on the truth? See, the truth is, if you focus on Jesus Christ as the Son of God and your Savior, then you know that His great love for you brings you into the presence of the Father, and he will care for you. Focus on him, and let him be your fortress. I think so often we forget that. The other verse I looked at this morning, and of course this one lays strong in my heart, this week because we'll be doing Dad's funeral on Thursday. A wise son brings joy to his father, but a foolish son heartache to his mother. And the first thing I had to think was, did Dad see me as wise? I can't answer that question, but he did ask me to perform his memorial service, so I think he had a little faith in me. And I'm grateful for that. Dad was a private man. Quiet man. Unless he was angry. But Dad also... He didn't waste words. With praise. So sometimes we have to remember. It's what we focus on, right? You see, I can focus on all the negative of that situation... But what I can also focus on is the fact that over the last couple of years, he said to me on a couple of occasions that he loved me. And I heard that more in my, the last two years than I did in my entire life. And I'm going to hold on to that today. You see, that's how you change what you focus on, isn't it? It's not about your poverty or your wealth. It's about what you put your focus on. Focus on Jesus today. See how that works. I can say this without a doubt. Even if you're not a believer in Jesus Christ, you haven't accepted him as Lord and Savior. If you focus on Jesus and who he was as a man and who he was portrayed to be in the Bible as God, it will change everything around you. You don't have to believe it to have it make a change. But if you focus on it, you may end up believing it.
That's just a thought. Have a great day. God bless. And I love you all.